Welcome to the Nutty McKinnon Art Gallery, located at Park Junior High. I know this looks like an ordinary school, but we actually have over 125 priceless pieces of American artwork. Including paintings, sculptures, and decorative objects. Let's head in. Made in 2005, this gallery has shown students and citizens beautiful pieces of artwork and their backstories. Oh, hey, I found this pretty interesting painting. This painting is called Village Scenery by Pauline Ladders Palmer. She painted it in 1916. It was painted using oil on a 20 by 28 inch canvas. This painting was based on a village in Illinois. Let me point out some interesting things. When you look on, look close, you can see clothes hanging on a rack outside the house. And near the middle, you can see a woman tending some plants. Pauline Letters Palmer's also include her signature and the year Village Scenery is painted in the bottom left of the painting. Finally, the frame is made of carved wood. In my opinion, this frame really accents this beautiful work of art. Scenery was purchased as a gift by the Oak School class of 1953. The Nettie J. McKinnon Art Gallery has more than one painting by Pauline Leonard's Palmer. Don't forget about this one called Scotty. It features me. She painted me for the enjoyment of young viewers. Now let me in introduce you to our creator. Hi, I'm Pauline Leonard's Palmer, the artist of that painting. Let me tell you a little bit about my life. Let's start in 1867, when I was born in McHenry, Illinois. My parents are Nicholas Leonards and Francis Leonards. Fun fact, both of my parents are immigrants from Prussia. When I was 18, I moved to Chicago to teach art. In 1891, I married Dr. Albert Elwood Palmer. Then, in 1893, I enrolled in the Art Institute in Chicago. I studied there until 1898. After graduating, I studied with various artists in Paris and exhibited at the Paris Salon from 1903 to 1906 and again in 1911. Upon my return to the States, I set up a studio in the famous Tree Studios building in Chicago. In 1915, I was awarded first prize at Society of Western Artists Exhibition. My husband and I kept a summer home in Provincetown, Massachusetts, where I met many friends and families. I often used their daily lives as subjects for my paintings. I was elected the first woman president of the Chicago Society of Artists, 1918 to 1929. I was also awarded a silver medal. Sadly, in 1920, my husband passed away, so I started spending more of my time in a private studio on Cape Cod. From 1921 to 31, I won another silver medal and I also served as the president of the Art Institute Alumni Association and Chicago Association of Painters and Sculptors. Unfortunately, in 1938, Pauline passed away. She had an extremely successful life and created many amazing things.